Faustina the Younger, wife of Emperor Marcus Aurelius, wore many different hairstyles during her lifetime, all of them featuring a braided bun. Her Capitoline Museum portrait hairstyle is the most elaborate and includes twists, over-directed braids, and sewn panels. Over time, Faustina's hairstyles simplified considerably as demonstrated by this coin. This simplification may perhaps have been a response to the demands of a growing family of children, or to the philosophy of Stoicism espoused by her husband Marcus, or perhaps it was just more convenient when accompanying him on military tours. Faustina and all elite Roman women relied on servants called ornatrices for the dressing of their hair. Faustina's ornatrix relied on the following tools, hair bodkins to part and hold the hair out of the way, wood, bone, and ivory combs, blunt bone or metallic needles with woolen thread to secure the style in place, and leaf spring scissors or small knives to cut excess thread. The chief components of the Capitoline hairstyle are a series of twists against the scalp, a pair of over-directed, asymmetrically augmenting overhand braids flanking the face, and a bun made of smaller braids sewn into panels. Long, unlayered hair is necessary for this style. For control, it is necessary to pre-section the hair. Secure sections one and two out of the way with hair bodkins. Begin dressing the back hair in subsection one. After isolating section one, create a low ponytail using the needle and thread. Thread a blunt needle and slip knot the end of the woolen thread. Wrap the thread around the base of the ponytail, pass the needle through the loop, and pull it tight. After pulling the thread tight, stitch back and forth through and around the hair until the ponytail is firm will leave the needle and thread attached. Now we will begin a series of twists. To the left of the central ponytail, separate a melon slice section equal to one third of the remaining hair. Using the bodkin to help guide the twist, tightly twist this section toward the face all the way down. Once you have twisted all of the hair in this subsection, stitch this twisted section to the base of the ponytail. Next, repeat the same action on the opposite side of the head. In this alternating fashion, make four more twists for a total of six. Alternating from side to side assures that the bun will be centered on the back of the head.
Release the hair of section one to begin the side braids. In facial section one, we'll create an over-directed, asymmetrically augmenting overhand braid, also known as a lace braid. Pick up a small triangle of hair near the back of the section by the part line, divide it into three strands. Begin an overhand braid, and after about three passes, take a section from the face and add it to the center. Braid a few more passes and add another section from the face. Continue in this manner until you reach the ear, all the while pulling the braid high and over directing it backwards. Once you've added all the hair in front of the ear, change your hand position so that you are braiding right against the scalp. Continue augmenting the braid from the hairline side only until all the hair is added. By first pulling the braid up and then lowering it behind the ear, decorative loops are formed. Once all the hair is added, braid all the way to the tips of the hair. Repeat this braid on the opposite side of the head, always augmenting from the hairline side of the braid. Here are the finished sides. Now we'll begin the bun. Divide the ponytail in two and make two three-strand braids in each division for a total of four braids. Braid all the way to the tips of the hair. Carefully bind the ends of the braid so they do not unravel. Faustina's unusual bun is made by stitching pairs of braids together so they form panels, then winding the panels around one another, giving the alignment of the braids a uniquely weightless appearance. Begin the braid panels by attaching the thread to the base of a braid using the slip knot method. Weave the needle and thread back and forth through the braids laterally so that the thread shows as little as possible. Bind together the two ends of the braids, then clip off the excess thread. Repeat this process on the remaining half of the ponytail.
Now it's time to form the bun. Thread a blunt bone needle and place a slip knot in the end of the thread. Coil the right hand panel into a loose circle around the base of the ponytail so that the base sits at six o'clock on the circle. Stitch this circle to the scalp hair using a blunt needle and thread. In the opposite direction, coil the other panel around the first. Be sure to tuck the ends of the braids under the bun, then stitch around the circle again. Keep stitching until everything feels solid and secure. Once all is secure, clip off any excess thread. We'll now incorporate the side hair into the bun. Now take the side braids, pull them tautly, and pinch them together at the nape. Unravel their ends up to the pinch point. Blend the ends of the two braids together, then carefully divide them into three strands and braid them in a single braid till you reach the tips of the hair. Bind the end of this braid with needle and thread. Tuck this braid into the center of the bun and stitch it firmly in place. From start to finish, the style took 35 minutes to complete. Faustina the Younger likely wore this hairstyle until her marriage to Marcus Aurelius and perhaps beyond. By the time of the birth of her twin sons Commodus and Fulvus, Faustina the Younger was wearing simple braided buns. Divide all the hair into three strands and braid it to the tips. Bind the end with needle and thread.
Coil the braid around its base, then tuck the end under the bun. Using a blunt needle and thread, stitch the bun firmly in place. Once all is secure, clip off the excess thread. This style took less than five minutes to complete. Faustina the Younger bore 13 children, including two sets of twins, and was honored with many titles. When she died suddenly in 175 AD, the Emperor and Senate established a charity in her name to help impoverished girls.